Good morning, everyone. Welcome today. Thanks for coming. My name is Michael Gardner. I'm just kind of with Jim Hamilton, sort of coordinating these uh, sessions over the summer. And we are so pleased you're here. And we are so pleased to have um, one of our old reliable standbys who pretty much said, he, I think he said to me in May, um, okay, I'm going to talk uh, at a service in August. My first one, because filling up the, the program is uh, and getting a full batting order is always one of the challenges. Bob, thank you so much. Well, thank you. I hope you all brought your singing voices. <laughs> I have a tune by uh, Dr. George, who is a uh, New Orleans uh, blues player. Uh, blues uh, player down, uh, obviously, in uh, Louisiana. He's playing with a number of bands. Uh, Ringo Starr and his all-star band. Uh, he's had his own band. He's playing with Leon Russell. And he's going to start us off today. Dr. John, play ball. <laughs> Welcome. Whoever you are, wherever you are on this amazing journey through life, thank you for rising early and being a part of this community. You are all welcome to this fisherman service. Afterward, we have coffee and breakfast items, as well as great conversation upstairs in the parlor. Today, I'd like to close my eyes and go back to the early and mid 1960s and take you along for the ride. Yes, again, many thanks for rising early and being here for nine innings of my nostalgic grow up, growing up in Beantown and listening 
to great memories of good times at the old ball yard named Fenway Park. <clears throat> However, I do have a confession to make, and I know that since I'm in the company of great forgiving unions, I hope to be forgiven. Why? Did I just hear a pin drop? <laughs> After all those years of looking for mentors at such a young age, I became a part of a cult. Yes, I was a fan of the Bronx Bombers, the New York Yankees. <laughs> you had Boop Powell at first, Bobby Richardson at second, Cleet Boyer at third, <clears throat> and that great, <clears throat> that great philosopher, Yogi Berra, behind <laughs> the plate. When asked about why players don't go to certain restaurants anymore, he once replied, Oh, nobody goes there anymore. It's too crowded. <laughs> I wore my Yankee cap with pride, even when it was ripped off my head and thrown around the school bus before I could retrieve it. Mm. Oh, those were tough days. <laughs> the 60s <clears throat> weren't just a time... The 60s weren't just a time of anti-war protests, nickel bags, and peace, love, and rock and roll. John Fogarty. Yeah, <laughs> Thank 
My memory is taken back <clears throat> to my dad taking me to monthly ball games, sitting along, sitting along the first baseline in the reserve grandstand seats, sections 16 through 19. Seats cost $2.25 each at the time. We proudly rise to the national anthem and cheer on the home team except for me when the Yanks were in town. <clears throat> Seventh inning stretch with a soda and a dog <clears throat> before I knew the ingredients. <laughs> and then hightailing it back to Kenmore Square Station, to the Green Line, to Leech Mare, and, the, and then the ride home to West Medford. Speaking of seventh inning stretches, trivia. My spec. What was the first seventh inning stretch song at Fenway Park? Um, any remember "Dirty Water" by the Spinadels? Um, anyway, my special guest today is Neil Diamond. <laughs> he needs a tenor, an alto, or just a good singer along. If anyone attended the 4th of July parade in Duxbury, you might have seen the South Shore Bay Band, along with a certain clarinet virtuoso, <laughs> play, play a Fenway 7th inning stretch tune. Begins. I can't begin to know. I can't know the drum is gone. Lost in the Then spring became the sun. Through the deep, shone the so I don't know if And I have a Touching it, 
Well, that pot of growing up with the Fenway nine gave me the bug. With the money earned and my paper roots, caddying at Winchester Country Club and selling Kool-Aid, my friends and I would go to Filene's in Winchester and buy box seat tickets for three bucks a piece. On game day, we'd take the bus to Leech Mill, the green line to Kenmore, and walk to the ballpark from there, stopping by WMEX to pick up the top 20 list of the week, then picking up three bags of peanuts for a quarter from the gentleman selling it from his car on the corner of Jersey and Brookline Ave. He had a wooden cart and a yellow three for a quarter. I can't. <laughs> I always remember the way he did that. But what? Um, we pick up three bags of peanuts for a quarter from the gentleman selling from his car and the jo enjoy lifetime memories to talk about at a fisherman's service in Duxbury some, somewhere down the road called the Lunch.
Well, thanks very much to all of you for coming together today and listening to my good times from yesterday. You were all awesome friends, and yes, we are all blessed. Now let's go and be a blessing to the world. Peace to everyone, and enjoy your day. Cheers. <laughs> go Yanks. <laughs> a reminder, we have coffee and breakfast items, as well as great conversation upstairs in the park. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thanks very much, Bob, um, for this lovely piece. Um, I was wondering whether or not we want to do a secret ballot about letting him continue to <laughs> here, given what the confession today. But I, I, I want to congratulate him on his courage <laughs> in talking about it, and also congratulate you and this community because he could feel safe in even sharing such a moment. <laughs> So, um, again, thank you so much, Bob. Um, and thanks to Nancy Dobbins, who, um, with some help uh, this morning, so she brought all the food and then she had a little help in putting it together, um, but Nancy wasn't feeling too well, so um, she didn't stay for the rest of the service. Um, if you now just uh, join in the spirit of prayer, um, uh, a prayer of gratitude, for being able to live in the moment and to remember wonderful moments from the past, um, to understand that it really never is as good as it is right now. Uh, and as we walk from dawn to the dark of night in that golden sunshine, let us remember we are blessed and Bob said, let us be a blessing to the world. Make yourself.
Thanks again. Next year, I'm going to do a six hour fisherman service <laughs> on the Grateful Dead. <laughs> it, would, it wouldn't be one of your fisherman services without Ripple. It would be uh, exactly best song in the world. And, you know, I appreciate the lyrics here. I mean, I listened to Center Field thousand times i didn't really quite get it all you know so that's great to have um and so um especially we have some newcomers here today we just really invite you to come up for the service we have a ritual of going around the room and uh just saying our names and we'd love to have a full participation in that this morning so please feel in that in invited and Marsha, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, good, thank you. And I'm going to uh, end the service now, um, but I'll give you a call during the week, see how things are going. Okay? All right. Okay. Thanks, Marsha. Bye bye.